How many of you have heard at least the claim that Galileo was uh, an example of anti-science and he was jailed for that? Yeah, that's not true. That's not what happened at all. First of all, Galileo was an abrasive kind of guy. He was one of those guys. He was pious. He was a believer. He was a Christian, but he rubbed people the wrong way sometimes. Now, Copernicus didn't cause scandal and shock. He wasn't locked up when he published his theory. Matter of fact, people read it. What Galileo was doing, though, was he was taking on more than simply the view that the Earth is the center. He was taking on Aristotelianism. Aristotle was held in very high regard in the Roman Catholic Church. And there were certain powers that be, especially in Florence, who were hard Aristotelians, and you can't question Aristotle at all. And Galileo saying, well, maybe Aristotle's not right in this. Well, that ruffled their feathers. They didn't like being questioned. And they take their complaint to the Pope. And the Pope starts talking to Galileo about it. And they go back and forth. And there's a conflict. And Galileo writes a book. And he does two things. First of all, he writes it in Italian, not Latin. If you call CNN with your publishing, who are you trying to reach? The common man. So Galileo does that. And he has the simpliciter character. The, basically, he's got a guy who's obviously a stand-in for the Pope, and he calls him the fool. Now, when you call the head of the Holy Roman Empire a fool, it may not end as well for you as possible.